Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Renaissance and the Gamescape Artist. And today's a very exciting episode because this will be the first time I will be able to show you a painting from scratch. So as you see behind me, got a canvas ready to go. And if you watched the last episode, you know that today we are doing a scene from the NES game Maniac Mansion. So let's take a look and see what we're going to do in this episode. Okay, so the first thing I did was I gave the canvas a couple coats of gesso. Gesso is an acrylic paint that, uh, a couple reasons to do this. One, apparently it helps the paint that you actually use stick to the canvas, which is good. Uh, but I like to do it because it creates more of a smooth surface because if you look at a canvas, it's got like little grooves in it, uh, real close up. And if you're trying to make like, like straight lines with say, like a, like a brush like this, if you're trying to make a straight line, it can tend to kind of grab the paint and make it not so straight if it has those groups. So I like to just also put the gesso over it just to make it more smooth. Makes that a little easier. So after that, uh, as you see, I've tinted the canvas just with like a tannish, brownish color, just to kind of get a mid-tone going. It just helps to kind of see the colors better and to judge blending and color and things like that. And as you see, I've done a little bit of very basic kind of sketch of where the, the land is gonna be in this picture. Um, nothing major, just very basic, just to give me an idea of where the sky is going to go in. So speaking of that, let's look at the actual picture, what this is going to be inspired from. This is the shot from Maniac Mansion. Apparently, I think this is at the end of the game. I have to admit, I've never played through this game. I do have it. I got it a couple years ago, but I've not played through it. I've only tried it out like once, and uh, it's totally a game I'll get into. I just haven't yet. Uh, I love pointing click games like that. Shadowgate, for example, is one of my favorite games. Um, but I just haven't had the time to sit down and get through this one. But I know it's a, a big cult classic with a lot of people, so hoping they enjoy this as well. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is start with the sky. We're just going to sort of fill in the sky, and it's a nighttime scene, so I don't really have to worry too much about a gradient, like a blend going from dark to light or anything like that. The one thing is going to be uh, a little tricky is the moon is going to be right around here. So we have to create the sky and then create kind of a warming glow around where the moon is going to be. And then I'm going to put the moon in after that. So let's start with that. Okay, so first thing, let's do the sky. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with a blue color. Um, and I'm going to use a lot of water here just to kind of make sure the paint, you know, you got to use a lot of paint, you got to use a lot of water just to kind of Make the paint sort of run smoothly. I'm gonna start up here, start up here. It's gonna need quite a bit of paint here. So I'm thinking this is gonna be a nice color for the night sky because I can't have it. And you think of a black or a dark sky at night, you think of black, but black's just not gonna work because it's too dark. And to have like a, the mansion in front of it. You know, you're going to have dark on dark and you're not going to be able to see anything, so that doesn't make sense. So now what I'm going to do I want to put in this glow area for where the moon is going to be. I'm going to use a smaller brush, one of these guys, and just kind of do a little, little X shape here. I'm going to add some white to the color that we're already using. All right, so what I'm trying to do now is I've kind of made this little glow around where the moon is going to be. The moon's going to be right in here. And I hope you can see this well. I don't know if the, sh the light's going to be okay, but um, I'm trying to just make this glow around where the moon is.
All right, I'm going to attempt to put in the moon. And you may ask yourself, how do you paint around object like the moon? Well, there's a little trick. You can use a fan brush. This is the fan brush here. So I want the moon to go right around there. And what I'm going to do is push in and twist. We get a basically <laughs> terrible fucking moon. Well, that didn't work, did it? That's not bad. Um, my spin technique didn't really work as well as it has in the past, but I think that I can work with that because in the picture, as you see, the moon is not a full moon. It's just going to be lit on this side. So I'm going to highlight that end and maybe even darken up this side of the moon. Next, what I'm just going to do is block in the land area. I'm just putting like a very plain kind of color. It's a little brown, green. This will get darker, but I just want to block it in. Okay, so I've gotten the sky more blended as I wanted to. I'm still going to work on it probably some more, but I want to work on the moon here. So what I'm going to do, I got the basic shape of it out here. It's kind of hard to see because it's kind of the same color as that. But uh, I'm going to go in and kind of block in a little almost bluish grayish color for the dark side of the moon. And then we're going to start highlighting the, the light side and kind of try to blend them together. So let's do that.
Okay, for this part, I want to start working on this land over here. And I've taken a little kind of artistic uh, liberty here. And I wanted to make this more into like a more dramatic looking cliff. Like here, the house is going to be up here, the mansion. And it's kind of be sitting right on the edge and kind of just falling off. And the tree will be kind of falling off there. So now I'm just kind of, I've kind of blocked it in and like where it's going to be dark and light. But I'm going to just experiment with some colors here. It's going to be mostly blues because it's in the moonlight. Um, but that's just what I'm going to do in this step. Just to kind of work with the colors here and see what I can do. Okay guys, well I think that is a good place to end this episode. I think we've made some pretty good progress. Please come on back in the next episode where I will be finishing up this painting. I'm gonna throw in the actual mansion, some trees, some fences, some details. It's gonna be cool. Uh, of course, if you're enjoying this painting, please consider subscribing and clicking on the notifications. You can watch all the progress of these paintings. And as always, if you're interested in having a piece done, you can get in touch with me either through Instagram or email, and that information will be in the outro coming up right now. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.